It's Apostle Dewan. I'm the founder of GICMP, the Global Institute of Church and Marketplace Profits. Another question that I get all the time is why can't I dream? Why don't I dream? Or what do I need to do in order to start having prophetic dreams? I guess that's three questions. Let me just deal with what do you need to do to have prophetic dreams or why aren't you having prophetic dreams? Guess what? It's all about your atmosphere, okay? It's all about your atmosphere. It's about where you are. It's about who's around you and how much you are really tapping into the spirit of God to give you dreams. One of the easiest things um, and the most practical things you can do as someone who wants to dream is to simply ask God to give you dreams. It's as simple as going to sleep at night before you going before you go to sleep at night. Just take time to pray and say, God, please release to me uh, a prophetic dream. Please, please communicate to me via dream. And you've got to really believe that God still speaks in dreams because what we understand about dreams is that they're a communication tool uh, for God to speak to his people here in the earth realm. So there is nothing wrong with you saying, God, please uh, ignite my dream life. Uh, I want more dreams. I want to uh, hear more from you. So please allow myself to get more dreams. But a lot of times it's dependent on your atmosphere of number one, where you are and who's around you. You got to be very careful about what's going on in your life and how much you are accessing uh, demonic portals or fleshly portals and those people who are even sometimes dibbling and dabbling uh, in other areas that do not um, allow for you to be able to flourish in your dream life. So I think that's all connected to your atmosphere. That's why sometimes uh, there are many people uh, who have to fight in the midnight hour because they're having uh, midnight terrors. Uh, they're having uh, nightmare dreams that keep them in fear. And a lot of times that has to do with where they are, what the neighborhood that they're in, the house that they're in, what has happened in the house. And that's why it's so important when you move into a new house and you're in a new space, new neighborhood, oh my goodness, cleanse that thing spiritually, pray over it, plead the blood of Jesus, anoint the doorpost and dedicate your space where you sleep to God. Um, you never know what's happening and what ha what is going to happen. Uh, but no matter what, I want you to dedicate the space and the place that you sleep back to God. Uh, uh, let God know that he's welcome there, but cancel out everything that is not like him and uh, purify your atmosphere. But as you're purifying your atmosphere, it is also very important that you pay attention to who is around you. What type of people are you hanging out with? And are these people spiritual people? Uh, are these people, uh, you know, crazy folk, non-spiritual folk, fleshly folks, carnal folks? Uh, who are these people and, that you're hanging out with and how does their presence impact you? I believe as believers, as apostolic and prophetic people, that it's our presence that should impact those around us. But in many uh, situations, we allow the presence of others to impact uh, who we are, how we operate, and to literally uh, begin uh, to direct what happens around us. But I'm telling you, some of you have soul ties. Some of you have uh, people you need to come out of agreement with. And some of you have uh, the wrong people around you too much. And when you have the wrong people around you too much, they literally not only block your blessings, but they block your dream life. They block uh, God's ability to speak to you because they have a hold on your spiritual life and a hold on how and when uh, God communicates to you. I'm telling you, it's real. Uh, some of you are in relationships uh, with your significant other and because they are smothering you, uh, it's like you cannot hear from God. You can't hear dreams. You can't hear vision, all that. Or, you know, you come from a family where they say, oh my goodness, you just ate the wrong thing. That's why you don't have dreams and what have you. Or every time you have a dream, you uh, negate the importance of the dream. That's one way that you can uh, really cause 
you know, dreams not to happen. If you ignore the significance of the dreams and if you negate the purpose of dreams and negate uh, the reason that God has potentially given you a dream, know that you can very well push back uh, the, the hand of God on your life and you can push back his willingness to communicate. But I'm telling you, when you cleanse your atmosphere, uh, in the natural and cleanse your atmosphere in the spirit realm and pay attention to who is around you, what you're doing with certain people. Uh, and if you pray to God, I'm telling you, you will begin to see your uh, dream life increase. There have been so many occasions when um, people have joined our online community uh, that you'll be able to join right here on YouTube and you'll be able to access some of our uh, private Zooms as well. Uh, but when when people have joined uh, our uh, community or joined our courses, they said, oh my goodness, my dreams began to increase when I began to hang out with you guys. Why? Because that's just how we are. We operate uh, in dreams. We believe that God communicates to us in dreams and we take the, that very seriously. We do not take it lightly. So uh, again, um, it's about your atmosphere, spiritually, naturally. It's about who's around you. And guess what? It's about, again, just simply asking God to uh, give you prophetic dreams and let him know that you want prophetic dreams. Let's pray. So God, right now, I thank you for uh, your sons and your daughters who say they want more of you, who understand that indeed you do communicate to them and through them in dreams. Uh, and envisioned, uh, just like you did to Daniel. Uh, God, I thank you that just as you gave Daniel the interpretation of dreams, even for uh, Nebuchadnezzar, God, that you'll do the same for your sons and daughters who are saying, God, don't just give me a dream, but give me the ability to interpret that dream. And so I speak peace and blessings over you and your dream life. I prophesy that all those night terrors are going away in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare that no weapon formed against your dream life is going to be able to prosper. It will not, shall not, and cannot work. Even the weapons that were formed against your dream life shall not prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. So God, I say, let your kingdom come and let your will be done in the lives of your people uh, as they begin to uh, come to you now and, and say, God, give me a dream. Give me more dreams in Jesus name. Amen. 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 I hope uh, the, this answer uh, and these Q and A's have been blessing you. If you have a question for me, don't uh, hesitate to inbox me. Uh, here on YouTube or send me an email at we care at global prophetic institute.com. Again, we care at global prophetic institute.com. Until next time, God bless. Don't forget to subscribe.